Alright, and back. And then just uh, expose, exploring forwards. Stencilized on one side of the stoop are the words specimen ever receiving. Yes, that's true. I'm worried. This is strange. I'm not reading any PDTs in your area. They should remain active. Even on a de- Tell me, John. Why are you working with this jackal? Dr. Milan. Ah. <sighs> She's been talking about me. Look, I'm nobody. I just want to find my family. Without a family, man alone in the world. The impulse with the cold. Are you trembling, John? Because make no mistake. You are alone. Help us. John, this is happening because of him. He did all of this. This is all too much for me, too. I'm just a school teacher. I can promise you that I want to find your family as much as you do. We're in this together. Um, indentation in the floor. Pictures of a rectangular indentation is strangely clean in comparison with the other bloods spattered sections of the floor. I think it's because there was guns or some sauce bloodstains. Not one body can be seen amid the debris. You call a vending machine. That's great. I want some yucca cola. Yes. From here. Thank you. <laughs> Uh, we don't have our tool anymore. Ah, uh, yeah, because it wasn't permitted. That's why it said that it's not permitted. Yucca cola, throw it there. No, that's ridiculous. I want to see if those try to fire or some sus. <laughs> I can try to make it fit, but it may break. I wouldn't mind if it would break. I would just want to throw it. Yes. I did say that I would prefer to throw that to see and test that theory if that is how it works, but you rather do not want to throw it, you want to just walk there. Because that's a good plan, as always. <sighs> Alright, let's just skip these talks, it's strange. in any way possible. Any well, we I'll skip this for you guys, even, even if I can't skip it. Okay, now let's go get the yucca cola again. So, it is a good question what exactly we're supposed to do then. Um, hmm. Upskirt by Trites of Liquid. This area has been witness to carnage, yet nobody is littered the ground. Blood, but nobody's. I wonder why. I have no idea. Dark blood splattered the walls, but most disturbingly is the lack of any gun doors among the corrosed carnage. But I was thinking that they didn't aim backwards, so I'm pretty safe here. There's loose fires that don't help me in any way or sense. I don't think I was able to interact with anything else though hmm can i pour this inside no like could i just open this i think that'll just break it and then at least try to pour a liquid there so maybe that could somehow make it a little bit clashing never like chocolate yeah that was the other choice that i thought about now that maybe could be taking it a bit more into that direction. Hmm. 
that one is still okay, but that one at the very least did indeed get destroyed by that. I guess the they shot each other or the bullets came a little bit nonetheless into it as well. So... Like, just very carefully. Alright, well, we're somewhere. Sometimes it's very hard to see, okay, here we are. But sometimes it's very hard to see where exactly we are. Sentry gun base, indeed. This inactive gun sleeps silently. But there is also a dead body here, intriguingly enough. This was no safe haven for this poor soul. Even though they tried to find a safe place here. Found the body too. It's pretty bloody up. Seepen Trison. More power outages today. More power outages today. Damn it, I thought they had a lid on that. People have been way crankier than usual. One of my boys just broke down today, shaking and scratching like he was suffering from a withdrawal or something. I checked with the nurses who examined him and it seemed like there was some sort of a truck in his system. He swore blind he... He swore blind he wasn't dirty and hadn't been taking anything. But they're already preparing a tribunal for the poor guy. The thing is... I believe him. Everybody's been acting a bit peculiar lately. Mm. That was a long time ago, May 18th, then suddenly, November 6th, what's happening to my beautiful ship? That crap is growing up the spine of this baby like a cancer. I keep mailing Dr. Malin about this, but he hasn't responded to any of my messages. I know he's reading them because I get more of those stooges from hydroponics down to collect samples whenever I send more than a few words his way. I managed to corner his assistant the other day and demanded to know when we'd be getting our share of the rations. She looked at me like she hadn't slept in a week and said, Soon. None of us are sleeping properly. I try to create each day with a smile, but the Frenchies are getting panicky, if not mutinous. 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 Mm. I spend my time breaking up fights instead of maintaining the engines. I was thinking of taking a group down to the engine boards and torching that shift shit off the hull, but I'm worried it's too late for that now. Probably. December 20. No more engineers, no more hope. No more engineers, no more hope. When you take those things away, you got nothing left. I'm dictating this wedged under the main security terminal. I don't think any of those things will hear me. The rest of the survivors are holed up in the bulkheads, but nobody was willing to risk leaving until we had some sort of protection. I pointed out we'd either starve or die anyway, so they voted overwhelmingly for me to try and get help. So, I came down here through one of the maintenance edges tunnels and programmed a security terminal to mark any individual with their PDTs still implemented as hostiles. That should at least get the turrets on our side. I'm not sure it will work, but it's all I could do. Well, it also did, of course, mean that it they were shooting at me too, or trying to shoot at me. <laughs> I'm alone now. Hell, I'm used to it. Never met the right girl and all that. I'm pretty sure I heard Lottie screaming, you know. <sighs> They're probably all dead now, but I can't know for sure. I could hear those things peel in panels of the floor and walls like they were paper. And I'll be damned if they'll find me covering under the floor like that. Guy Fawkes jumped with the noose around his neck when he was about to be executed, did you know that? They were going to half strangle him and then rip him to pieces, but he sheeted the executioners breaking his own neck before they could carry on torturing him. I'm going to do likewise. Got a gun for my protection, see? Only one bullet left, but no matter. I'll only need one. Yep. Well, generally speaking. That is indeed how it is, and that's where it ended. December 20 for you as well. Well, some lasted to January. 
but barely. So no, this is some reports though. It's a good question why the girl in hydroponics then has been able to survive thus far, but I guess in hydroponics you can a bit more easily have some sort of food. <sighs> Re personal data tax from Dr. Al Raja Cooper to all staff, personal data tax, dear all. For those of you who are still able to receive these messages on the intranet, you'll know by now that the creatures are using our PDTs to proceed past security checkpoints. To prevent this, I have decided that each in turn you'll proceed under armed guard to the primary church report where your PDTs will be removed. Once this is done, we will reprogram the security protocols so that they will target all creatures that still possess these tags. Do not answer the doors to your quarters unless confirmed by the des designated password. Today that word is Aekis. Mm. It's a okay idea at the very least. Emails, inbox and outbox. From us, Trison to all engineers read the situation. This is how it is. The unidentified substance is still spreading. It's fouled up inside port D to G, and after a brief confab with the tribe engineers, I can tell you that it's having a detrimental effect on the efficiency and speed of the engines. The long and short of it is that the ship is seriously slowing down. The only thing accelerating is the speed of the fungal crowd. Its origin is unknown, although we are narrowing it down. This is a crisis situation. Use the hardest stuff you can find to remove it from the fixtures and tribe plates without actually endangering the protective casing of the tribe cores. Good luck, guys. Steve Trison, Chief System Engineer. Steve Trison, that was you, right? Yeah. You are one of the. You are the main. Main engineer, chief system engineer, and no, no more engineers, no more hope of getting this sorted out. So spinning fan shadow. The fan shadow is unnerving, having you nervously checking the periphery of your vision for the movement you swear you saw. Alternates between stale and putrid with decay. Yay. Centricon computer control. Oh, yeah, it's above this thing. The turret is poised to spring into the room above and eliminate any unauthorized personnel. Well, it did at least kill a lot, I guess, of the bad guys. Uh, the problem is, of course, that, well, I guess it should mean that there should be less dangers around <laughs> this area. Turret nearby, a stack of empty yucca cola. I <laughs> can't sit below. Yeah, at least he had some yucca cola, I guess. This terminal is connected to the turret nearby, a stack of empty yucca cola. I can't sit below. Alright, A. No. Slash low ammunition. P should have. But yeah, that part is still, so to speak, active. Maintenance overdue by 295 days. Replace cable sleeve in 18A. I don't think there's so much that I can do about that. Hmm. Yucca Cola. I can try to make it fit, but it may break. Uh, inside yourself? Hmm. I had that feeling that let's use the. <laughs> Water, uh, cola, lemonade to mess up with the system, and yeah, no control. Uh, yeah, not active anymore. Good. It worked then, eh? I thought that that should be working. Hey, it has a pistol, though it has indeed no more bullets, but it's still a pistol. Slow spinning fan. Nothing else shouldn't be around here, though. But well, let's pick up the pistol anyway, even if it has uh, no ammunition. Don't see anything else of a use in here, though. Mm. Uh, yeah, let's let's head back up. 
let's head back up. And see if there's anyone alive here anywhere anymore. Hanging wire, I can't touch the hanging fire. Uh, what would it be about? Oh, hey, it's just a hanging fire. Loose cables. Yes, good, I guess. Sort of surprising there's no, like, uh, liquids and cola coming from here in a sense, but now it should be safe enough to be going this way, if I understand correctly. Yep. Good. This part is still active. Wish I could take it and use it somehow, but uh, not gonna happen. Do I break it with this? I can try to make it fit, but it may break. Because I can't open it. Do. Hmm. What would be the logical way to get this open? I don't think that'll work. I don't think so either. I'm just like wondering that what is the thing that I'm... Okay, I can not just... I hate doors. One override, coming up. Okay, thank you. Good, good. Shit, John! The security systems in medical are inaccessible. It's like they've been locally reset. I can't access anything. I'll think of something. <sighs> well, yes, but what should I be thinking of? Now? I can try to make it fit, but it may break. I'm just more like thinking trying to actually break the glass, because it's just a glass door, so it should be breakable. If it's just glass. That's my idea. Why can't we just throw the gun or throw something into this and break the glass? Shouldn't be that difficult. It might be, but it shouldn't really be. Am I missing something below? I don't think I was able to even go there anymore, nope. So, was there something I'm missing here? I don't think there was any way for me to go, though. No, and uh, no. Don't see anything that I would be specifically missing. And I don't remember there being anything really important or good in the PDA as in information. I don't think so. Yeah, there was the personal data tax information. And trying to do everything to stop the crowd, yes. And no more hope and no more engineers. I don't think there's anything more of a use in this either. Like, it's just for this gun controls panel, but yeah. I don't see anything else in here at the very least, so I would need to do something up stairs. But I just don't know what. Unless. Oh. I'm actually trying to see if I can... Ah, disconnect center gun, now I can pick it up. Like, I was holding it before, but uh, didn't manage to do it because this did work still. Okay, I was just able to shoot it like that. Fine. Fine. I was thinking that why can't I use it? But you didn't want to try it out before. Wow. Well, there's some classes though, so do be careful about that. <sighs> Warning. This area is off limits to all active PDT users. Please see your supervisor for further instructions. 
That makes no sense. All BDTs. That's everyone. They must have changed security settings. Stop they indeed have. From heading down below. Or coming up. BDA blood. This incidence of the lightning strikes illuminates a crystal series of bloody splatters across the windows. Again, the music. The song we sang. You try to tell yourself that you're safe for now. Yes, because it's a destroyed center gun. The stencil on this door indicates that it leads to reception. There is something too. Blood stains, blood stains. PDAs and PDAs and the elevator. You would be happy to never see another tubular conveyance in your life. But it is here. Hmm. No, no, that won't work. I don't know what is exactly the answer here. I guess I could say before though, before trying to see about continuing future. 